What are some excuses for someone to fail to take necessary action when it is within their ability to accomplish that action? I can think of some right now. Greed, fear, pride, stupidity, arrogance, superstition, hatred. Those are some reasons that come to mind immediately. Within the past few years, the United States president failed to act on and support a movement which was occurring in a terrorist nation, Iran. If that movement had taken root and if it had prevailed, there may have been a new leadership and an easing of world tensions. Also, they may have been a little bit more aligned with the common interests of the United States and her allies. But for several of the above mentioned reasons, he failed to act. Since that time, the situation in the Middle East has actually spun out of control and the world is a far, far less stable place. One of the most prevalent reasons for people to not act is superstition. There are a lot of people that live by the horoscope and they won't do certain things if they get a bad word for the day. People are afraid of certain numbers. 13 is a very common one here in America. The number four is two. In China, the number four has almost the same pronunciation as the word for death. And so nearly an entire nation is paralyzed by what is known as tetraphobia, the fear of four. They would rather not act on something necessary than do it for uh, if the number four is somehow involved. And I know this personally because I lived in Malaysia and I lived in the Chinese district of Malaysia. And any house that had the number four on it, it was empty. They didn't even want to move in there. The list of phobias is long and it's very complex, but it is real. Unlike some phobias which are not grounded in superstition, the ones that are become sinful because they fail to rely on God's overarching providence and his attention for us. Instead, they demonstrate a fear that he is not in control and that in acting, even if it is in accord with his will, is not our first priority. The prophets of Israel spoke of these things and told what the cure and the remedy for them is. And that takes us to our text verse today, which is from the book of Isaiah chapter 8. And when they say to you, seek those who are mediums and wizards who whisper and mutter, should not a people seek their God? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? To the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Instead of seeking answers in horoscopes or mediums, and instead of failing to act out of superstitious fears, we are told to seek the Lord. As Isaiah says, to the law and to the testimony. In order to seek the Lord and to be in his will, we have to actually do something. It's called opening it up and studying it and then following its precepts. Today, we're going to see someone superstitiously turn away from following the law of the Lord in order to protect his earthly inheritance. What a shame it is for him. He enters the pages of redemptive history and he fades from them as well without ever being mentioned by name all because of superstition. Instead of being obedient to the law and becoming a great name, he fades into the unknown obscurity of history. Let us not be found in such a bad state. Instead, let us follow the Lord. Let us trust the Lord and be obedient to his word above all else. The way we do these things is to know his word. And so let's turn to that superior word once again, and may God speak to us through his word today. And may his glorious name ever be praised.